have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Tiger Stadium is alive with anxious fans here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Roadrunners have a new head man. New theories, new hopes, new dreams. Will there be new wins? We'll find out. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And he has it on the corner. Runs outside for a nice game. McCormick picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. And now he's got room to run. Makes it to the 41. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Brought down at about the 41. Two yards there on that delayed handoff. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. Quick throw. They lose three yards there. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. waiting for the snap. And he's taken down at the 23. The Tigers having a wide receiver like this, I think sometimes it even helps a young quarterback because this kid goes out there, he works hard in practice every day, and I think he really lifts the whole offense. I think he does. I think he's almost like having an extension from the coaching staff into the locker room with the players. So he's a guy that makes big plays, but I think he takes it upon himself to be able to help out with some of the other receivers, make sure that they're all on the same page, understand the route adjustments, understand everything that goes on with being a wide receiver and the importance of blocking. So all the little things that seem to add up and make big plays, uh, I think this guy un totally understands his responsibilities being a go-to player. Complete. He's got room. And they make the stop at the 27-yard line. He goes out of bounds at the 30. That brings us fourth and three. Certainly they don't have the return on here. Oh, excellent punt. He makes it to the 32-yard line. The Tigers really took care of business on defense that first time out, Herbert. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. And he's tackled around the 41-yard line. Number five makes the set ball at the 41-yard line. That makes it second and two. Play fake and looking to run. He's knocked out of bounds around the 49-yard line. Catches it, and he's punished. 
Gain of six yards. Right, right. That'll make, make it second and four. four. There's the strike complete. He's taken down. Right around the 48-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Listen to this place. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Complete and taken down immediately. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Fires incomplete, knocked away. That's the kind of field vision you want out of your linebackers. They have to play well in coverage, and they have to be able to break up pass plays. From their own 25-yard line, it's third down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Tackle made at the 44-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Quick pass, and he's taken down at the 46. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. at the 32. They come out in a five wide set. And down he goes, right around the 18 yard line. He faked out everybody in the stadium. When you can sell the run that well, you're gonna have the upper hand on the defense. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. They come out on an empty backfield. He's tackled at the five-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. Brought down around the three-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes us third and goal. converts the extra point. An 11 play, 79 yard drive, and the result, seven points. So the score now, seven nothing. LSU, to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a touchback. LSU's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Hey, 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 hey. 
He gets to about the 41-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. He makes his way to about the 48. He's going to try and scramble. They bring the quarterback down. So that sack sets him back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Scrambling around, and he's going to come up with a sack. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Dean is the punter. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, and you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. And they'll get him in the backfield. Makes the that, is that is a loss of two yards. yards. That'll, That'll bring, bring up, up second, second and 12. 12. Man left, man left. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 18. LSU up seven points. Gives it to the back. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Flips it middle to the running back. They'll bring him down to the 20 yard line. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back into zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Gets to about the 47-yard line. The Tigers have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Catches it, and that's all. That brings him second and five. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. The Tigers with a touchdown lead. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. That's great discipline and play calling on the defense's part on that series. Everything clicked for them. to punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. LSU is up by a touchdown. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Terrific coverage, and when you clog up passing lanes like that, you can force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Fires complete over the middle. And they make the stop at about the 45. And they get nice yardage on that run. He fights forward to about the 46. Call it a gain of two yards. That'll make it third and one. And they'll bring him down behind the line. The halfback took the pitch but couldn't find any running lanes. And there were no running lanes because this defense had so much penetration into the backfield. Could have been lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. And this one is a beauty. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. It's a yard, maybe less. That was the junior linebacker who'll get credit with the tackle there. He's under pressure. Good open field tackle. Call it again in five yards. Becoming the 12th man, the crowd is always into it here. Moves up, and the defense has got it. They're coming after this punter. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. One of the nation's top talents really struggling in this one today. Chase's big playability was supposed to be on display, and yet he's trying to find any kind of rhythm. And we've seen the team rally around him, though, and they got the lead. Here. Yeah, and Brad, this defense has done just a great job of being able to take him out of this game today. They've been able to really just limit his touches, and yet for some reason they still find themselves trailing in this game. So I think it's a good example of how one player can alter a defensive game plan and really puts this defense in a position where they're going to have to make some adjustments here and try to put more pressure on this team and get the ball back to their own offense. From their own 44-yard line, Second down, LSU is up seven. Across the middle, tight end's got it. Good tackle there in space. He shoved out of bounds around the 47-yard line. Well, he ran out of real estate that time, and they'll lose yardage. When you're going to run the ball to the outside like that, you've got to make blocks to allow the runner to either cut back or turn it upfield. They didn't get it done there. From the 47-yard line, second down. And he throws it away. Yeah. <laughs> 
Great concentration to pull it in. That's a great tackle at the 37-yard line. Fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. LSU is hoping to make this a two-score game. The kick is up. And he nails the long field goal. York has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. Let's it fly. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Now he's scrambling. And he is drilled at the 30-yard line. So the keeper goes for about seven yards. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Fires it out to the tight end, and he's got the first. And he's tackled at the 35. First down. to buy some time there he goes he's taken down at about the 47 yard line first down the defender had it and then dropped it from their own 47-yard line. Second down. He fights forward to about the 49. Here's the halfback on the screen. Tackle made around the 46-yard line. Try to change the field position with his kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he's taken down right around the 30. That'll make it second and inches. He's on the run. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Run and he's brought down. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. That is a loss of one yard. Third down. Tackles him hard at the 31. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. UTSA will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Fourth and long here after the sack. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. 
He really got a hold of that one. And down he goes to the 35-yard line. Well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think part of the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. We're about set to start things up again. Complete. He's got room. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. Call it a gain of 11 yards. That, that makes, makes it first, first and ten. ten. Hey. Shit, shit. He's tackled at the 41-yard line. Number four makes the tackle at the 41-yard line. First, first down. down. Hey. Switch, switch, switch. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41. Mike 35, Mike 35. Set, 10, 19. Motion. Hot. Yeah, hot. Draw. Here they go on the draw, and they'll lose yards. Catch first down and he's knocked out. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. Quick shot to the open receiver and he can't hang on to the ball. Jones is intended to see the other play. That makes it second and ten. He's looking for six. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Third down again. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. You can bend a bit as a defense, but when they're this deep in your own territory, you just can't break. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. It has the distance. And he got it! They line up to kick this one away. From his own goal line. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. LSU is up a score. Tackle around the 33-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. And he's tackled right away. Not the greatest pass, but a really, really good play by the receiver to bail out his quarterback. First and ten, ball on the 50. They come out in a five-wide set. He rifles it. Caught out in the open. He steps out around the 36-yard line. yard line. 
There's a strike complete. Caught with room to work. They'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. LSU's called their final timeout. And this play is number eight on the drive. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. It's been a well-fought game as we head to the half. 13-3, LSU. Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Come on. Watch the team. Watch the team. Watch the team. Set. Curry takes a handoff. He fights forward to about the 26. their own 24-yard line. Third down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Going deep. Lays it out there. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy has been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Fires out to his receiver. And they make the stop around the 30-yard line. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. That makes it second and ten. From the 30-yard line, it's second down. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Gets it off as he's hit, complete. And he's level at the 17. Game 13 on the play. First down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Check, check. Check three, check three. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Number 24 on the tackle at the 17 yard line. That makes it second and 10. The 10. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Scrambling around. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. Good 
to draw within a field goal. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 28. The Roadrunners have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. LSU is up by three. And now he's got room to run. He gets to about the 41-yard line. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Number one was the intended receiver on the play. From their own 41-yard line. Second down. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's tackled around the 31-yard line. Across the middle, and they intercept it. The sophomore safety. That's a great tackle at the seven. Nice pick by the safety. Safety that time just sitting back there looking at the quarterback, and once it was thrown, he knew exactly where it was going, and he made the pick. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the seven-yard line. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That's a game of four. That makes it second and six. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. First down. Zips it to the tight end. He's pushed out of bounds around the 25-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. He's to the 40. And he's finally shoved out at the 36-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. That makes it second and 10. From the 36-yard line, it's second down. He hits him hard at the 36-yard line. He fires. That close to being intercepted. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. UTSA can tie it up here with this kick. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Pick up 24 yards. 
An interception cut this offense last drive short. So I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. This one will fall incomplete. Chase was intended to see more of the play. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 24. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He's taken down at about the 33 yard line. Number 30 makes the tackle at the 32 yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he is drilled at the 50. Five wide. it quickly in and out of his hands the pass falls incomplete from the 34 yard line second down that makes it second and ten They go back to him on a quick throw. Tackle made around the 24-yard line. Gets out to about the 21. Carries the ball for a nice game. Game of six yards. That'll bring my second and three. Here we go! Hot line, 80! Wide! Nice run up the middle. Game of seven yards. That'll bring the chance for another LSU. He's taken down at the nine yard line. Loss is one on the way. That brings him second and goal. He gets out to about the six yard line. That makes it third and goal. Play 13 of the current drive. He's out of bounds, just outside the goal line. That brings us fourth and goal. Fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. LSU could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Roadrunners in this quarter really showing some guts and some heart, Kirk. Well, there's nothing better than in college football to see a team that's down and not give up and fight back and eventually have a chance to maybe take a lead and, who knows, maybe go on to win a football game. And there's going to be a turning point, and when this game is over, we're going to look back at maybe it's the halftime adjustments or maybe it's one of the plays we saw early in the third quarter. But give this team a lot of credit for showing this character. Clark makes the tackle the 37-yard line. First down. 
Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. throws it away. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. And he tackles them hard at the 23. You know, that time, I think he saw the pressure was coming. He tried to make a play as a quarterback, and I can understand that. But eventually, you've got to be able to get rid of the football before you take a sack. That is a minus for the quarterback. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Dean awaits the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. So they're just about set to get the game going again. LSU is up a field goal. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for him. That makes it second and six. He's tackled around the 44-yard line. Three yards on the play. Third and nine. Ball on the 44-yard line. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. And down he goes, the 37-yard line. He's got 300 yards passing now. Well, this quarterback has had a solid game. He's done what's been asked of him, and then some. He certainly has done a great job of leading this offense today. Let's go! Green 90! Green 90! Looks middle, got his back. Tackle right around the 32-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Hang on tight, folks. We head to the fourth quarter in what could be a shocker. 16-13, Tiger. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. LSU has a three-point lead. Runs left and can't get back to the line of scrimmage. That is a loss of one yard. That'll bring up second and 11. Second down and 11. Ball on the 24. They knock it down, incomplete. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. There's a strike complete. They'll get him for a loss. That's a loss of one yard on the play. That makes it fourth and 12. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Oh, 
The kick is up, and he nails the long field goal. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Brought down around the 36-yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. Gets out to around the 45. Gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Tackled after decent pickup. With the tackle. Game seven on the play. First down. They'll bring him down at about the 39 yard line. That brings up second and one. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gaining five yards. First down. Fires out to his receiver. And they make the stop at the 19. Four rings him down at the 19 yard line. That makes it first and 10. First and ten. Man, Ball on the 19-yard line. And he's tackled at the 11-yard line. Number four brings him down at the 11-yard line. That brings him second and one. What a play, and that is first and goal. That's, That's good, good for a game of nine yards. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, and we're all tied up. Wait a second. They put the points on the board, but they might have to take them down. Well, when holding is that obvious, the official most definitely is going to bust you. Well, this is it. They've got all four downs to get in the end zone. He gets out to about the nine-yard line. That's good for the three yards. That brings him second and goal. Good outside run there. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. He's taken down at the one-yard line. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. They try running left. Touchdown, and we've got a tie ball game. A short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. The kicker on the field. He'll try to put his team up by a point. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Loss of three on the play. That brings up second and 13. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Pitches, and he's got room. And he has it on the corner. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 31. Here's an opening, and he's leveled at the 39-yard line. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Loss of three yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 36-yard line. Second down. Makes it to the 47. Less than three minutes in the game. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. And he's taken down at the 20-yard line. First and goal. It's the ninth play of the drive. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. He makes it to the six yard line. That's a gain of two on one way. That brings him second and goal. They bring him down in the backfield. No game. That makes it third and goal. Third and goal for the lead. He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. LSU to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Roadrunners have got to be fired up how this game is going. They still got a chance to win. Well, you're talking about a huge underdog that's battled the entire game. They've got the football here to start this drive late with a chance to take the lead. You can't even imagine what this would do for this football team if they can put six points up on the board. Just under two minutes in the game. 
He's on the run. And they push him out at the 38-yard line. And you're looking at the new team record holder for single-game rushing. He's been rushing with such determination. I think this just goes to show you he's one of the best around. First and 10, ball on the 38. He's tackled at the 49. Complete. He's got room. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 42-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. Quick pass, and down he goes around the 24-yard line. That's a game of team. That makes it first and 10. They'll drop him for a loss. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. They'll go with the run once again. Makes it to the 22-yard line. McCormick gets it around three on the halfback draw. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. Listen to this place. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. tries to buy some time so the big blow comes from the defense they come up with the stop of the day and that'll ice this football game Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game. And poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? Hands off up the middle and stuffed. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. The Roadrunners use their second timeout. It's second and 11. Ball on the 25-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Curry gets six yards on the carry. UTSA will take their last time out. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. The Tigers coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team is able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. That brings this broadcast to a close. 3A Sports, Kirk Kirk Street. I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.